Hi, I'm Joe. This is my review today of the Black & Decker, Black & Decker LST 420. Head, uh, it's a trimmer and edger that I uh, just bought. And uh, now I'm going to show you the different parts that are in here. So it comes with the unit itself, which is the um, trimmer edger. It actually is pretty light. I was actually very surprised. I have uh, other trimmer hedgers that are a lot more heavy. Uh, and this actually here is pretty light. It comes with two batteries as well as a charger. And um, I charge one of these overnight. Um, and uh, when you charge it, here's the charger. It fits on pretty neatly. It goes like this. When you charge it, you see this uh, over here shows you that when it blinks like that, which means that you'll see this thing blinking green, means it's not charged. When it's solid green, it is fully charged. You need supposedly two batteries in order to be able to get a full hour of running time out of the uh, edger um, and uh, trimmer. Uh, it also comes with these two attachments that I'll put on in a minute, as well as the manual. And the manual, I expected it to actually show um, details about how to assemble it with words that go with it. But instead, it's just pictures of the whole uh, assembly process. And so um, hopefully I'll be able to put it together by reading the pictures because there are really no words on how to put it together. Um, there are words in here about charging. There is words in here related to safety instructions, and there's words um, that have uh, various types of uh, 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 definitions of uh, things that are in a manual, but there are actually no words on how to put it together. So you will be using the pictures to do that. Um, one tool that you'll need, according to the manual, these, uh, these pictures, is a screwdriver, uh, and that's in order to be able to put on one of the pieces. So it seems pretty simple to put together. Let's try it right now. Um, so first it says to, it shows you the different pieces. First it says to charge the battery, which as I said, I charged one of them last night, but I'll show you how to do it anyway. Wait there. Um, I'll just plug this in like this. Honestly, I forget which battery charged. So um, I'll plug it in like this. It is hard to see over here because it is bright. Uh, that one right now is blinking green. Now, uh, if it starts going solid, it means it's the one I charged last night. If it does not go solid, it means that it's not the one I charged last night. And I probably should use the other one when I do the uh, uh, trimming. But let me put this down. So that's the first thing it tells you to do is to uh, charge the battery. Second thing it tells you to do is put your hand on the edge of this, I guess. Oh, to put the battery on there. Looks like they're trying to show you how to put the battery on. Which is, um, I guess the battery goes in like this. Looks like that's how it tells you to put it on. I take it off because I probably shouldn't have it on while I'm putting it together. Uh, next thing, it looks like I have to um, put this piece on the bottom. And uh, it goes on like this. Oops. So there is a screw there. Looks like I have to take it out and then um, put it back in after I put it on. Take it out. The nice thing is that they leave the screw right on there when you get it, which means that you don't have to worry about losing it in the box or anything. Uh, I've had issues with other things that I've purchased in the past where they put a bunch of screws in a bag and you might, uh, might or might not have the right screw on there, but because it's already attached, not likely to be a problem. Well, that was simple. Um, 
Um, yep, so there's a, put that piece on, screw it in, and now it looks like there's a handle for me to put on. Uh, so you push it right down on there, and then tighten this thing in here. So let me try that. Got the handle. I guess uh, in order to put it on, I have to look back at the book. Um, put on the handle. It looks like I have to take this thing off first. Off this, put it on. Make sure I have the right, right location. So according to the picture, if you look at the top here, it looks like this handle goes right up top here. So you are going right here. Okay. So I'll put it right up top here. I'll put these pieces back together on here. So first the screw, one side, and if you look, the screw goes right in here. After it goes in, it should not move. Uh, so when you tighten it this way, that screw should just be uh, quite tight in there. Let me make sure it's straight. Yep, it is straight. Tightening it, definitely. Feel it getting tighter. Doesn't tell you how much to tighten it in the book, but it is feeling pretty tight. Okay. And now, it's the next piece of the instruction. Um, it looks like there is a, uh, up at the top over here, I think that pulls out. So I don't see. Unless I see. Maybe at the bottom. Ah, this thing over here. So this up here, if you pull this out, it looks like. Um, just to unscrew it first or just pull? Looks like you just pull. And if that extends the uh, thing over here. So you pull this out. Ah, it extends it out like that. Last taller people, I guess, to use it. They're much taller now. Still light, like I said earlier. Um, so I extended it out, and it looks like uh, here's the instructions on how to use it for um, uh, edging, um, keeping, uh, looks like, uh, two feet away, 24 inches away between yourself and what you're edging uh, or trimming. Um, and it also has show instructions on how you flip it to be able to make it into an edger. Uh, as well as it looks like it has multiple speeds on here. And uh, it also tells you about putting on the, um, the, 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 uh, the spool in order to be able to use that for uh, the actual trimming. So first, the spool thing, if you look over here, they, uh, they were nice enough, they do, they, they, they do include the spool in here, they tape it on as you easily get into it. Looks like you just pull this thing on, and there's your spool, put it back on like this, it's in. Now it, in the book it tells you what the replacement spool, and I guess people must have lost the cap before because it also has what the replacement cap is, all in the book. Um, and it looks like for edging, you turn it around one way, and for, which is now, so this must be the way you hold it for edging. You see that? And then if you turn around the other way, this is the way you hold it for trimming. Now this is the, must be the trimming mode. Okay. Now I will uh, attempt to use it for both. And you can watch. Let me see if this battery, this battery is solid green. And uh, kind of hard to see because it's light out, but it looks like that's the one I must have charged last night. I'll put it on here. Okay, and first I will do a little bit of, um, just make sure it works. No, pull this up. Ah, there it goes. First time it's turned on. Okay, so now, looks like there's two different powers here. If you look over here, there is power one and power two. One of them gets more runtime. It looks like power one. 
power two gets the more powerful, that gets less runtime. Okay, I'm gonna use one for this purpose. Let's come around the side over here and I can show you a little bit of uh, um, the edging over here. Kind of hard to get you right here. So you see so over here, there's uh, some grass. I'm just gonna go like this. It's work well. Do a good job. Okay. Well, looks like that works. Let's go try now the um, the edging, which is very important to me. Um, definitely need that done. So I'm gonna go do a little bit of edging. So it looks like when you do this, it should go in this direction. Okay. I'm gonna actually do this other side over here. It'll be a little bit easier to see. A little more light here. So I'm going to start right here and go that way. Okay. So I'll pull this up. Well, I'm not going to do my whole house, my, uh, my, whole, my entire yard, but just wanted to show you the uh, how this works. So uh, it was. Took me what? Five minutes to set it up, and it seems to both uh, edge well and trim well. Uh, this is Joe. Um, thank you for watching my review of the uh, Black and Decker model LST 420, um, which is both a trimmer and edger. Thanks very much.